Greetings, this is Dr. Ashley Evans back with you again. Um, I hope you all had a phenomenal week. I hope that you felt the love, joy, and peace of the Lord throughout everything. Even though something negative may have happened, I pray that the Holy Spirit immediately brought you back to his, his covering to where you immediately got back on track with your thoughts. Now, the topic that I'm focusing on for today is selfish ambition. Now, a lot of times we hear the word ambition and it is characterized as something positive. You know, your motivation, you're fired up and you're ready to go and accomplish the things that you desire to accomplish. But when it comes to selfish ambition, from a biblical perspective, it's not all that pretty. And the reality is the world will tell you, yes, think about yourself, you know, have ambition, do what you want to do. But when we are submitted to God, we do what he wants us to do. So the scripture that was on my heart a lot this past week was Philippians 2, 3 through 4. It says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility consider others as more important than yourselves. Everyone should look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. Now, this is rare. I mean, I've seen it in some of the most sanctified saints who are always in the church. You know, they never miss a service, but sometimes they can be really selfish. So like the person who gets mad over a parking spot or that front seat in the pew, or, you know, having that solo for that Sunday, most likely they are operating out of selfish ambition. And the reality is there when we walk in, when we're walking with Christ, there's a level of selflessness that we operate in. And I just think about the many times that Jesus, he had every right to be, you know, sedity, you know, uptight, thinking about himself. I mean, hey, he's God in the flesh. He had every opportunity to have that mindset, but he was so humble. I mean, he would put the people before his own disciples. He was like, look, God sent me here for the broken. He sent me here for the sick. He sent me here for the downtrodden. And so the reality is with that understanding, we ourselves need to do the same thing. We have to have a perspective shift. Now, a lot of times people don't like introspection, but even in this time of quarantining, it has challenged a lot of us to really think about what's happening inside of ourselves, what's happening in our hearts, what is the motivation, what is the why behind what we do. And so even thinking about that, you know, when I hear selfish ambition, it really is a matter of, do you know your why? Is your why to become popular? Is your why to um, get money? Is your why to appear to be successful? Why are you doing it? And when I think about selfish ambition, a lot of times we get to that point when we have not gone back to the foundation, which is our father. Remember, Jesus, God, he created us. He created us so he knows our why. He knows why we were created. He knows what we are supposed to do. He knows the purpose of what we do. So a lot of times when we make these decisions and we do things without seeking him first, guess what? We end up operating our selfish ambition. Now in James 3.16, it says, for where there's envy and selfish ambition, there's disorder in every evil practice. Now, a lot of times people are, well, it's been for years. Many people are talking about the church, the church's current state. And when I say church, I, I know we are the church as individuals, but I mean the physical uni union body of Christ. And a lot of times there is a lot of disorder in some churches, not all, some. So I don't want anybody watching this trying to use this as a scapegoat to say, this is why I don't go to church. No, God has, God has commanded us to fellowship with the body. So the reality is though, a lot of times when we get revelation and insight of disorder, it's because there's selfish ambition within the body. And the worst place that can happen is if it's at the head, because what you don't realize will happen is what happens at the head trickles down. You know, that's why we know who's really serving God and who's not. Because 
when we're in the world and we're doing things of the world, yeah, we're serving the enemy. But when we have a heart of Christ and we honor him, we're serving him. And so the thing is, we have to be very intentional about checking ourselves, going back to God's word, allowing the Holy Spirit to correct us in order for us to recognize when we're operating out of humility or when we're operating out of selfish ambition. Now, it's not something that, you know, God is saying, oh, that's a sin, but it's a behavior that will lead us to sin. And so it's something we have to be mindful of. And that's the beauty of Christ because he dots all the I's, crosses all the T's. You know, a lot of times we like to justify our situations, our bad habits, but the reality is selfish ambition will not get us far. It creates more division and disunity than it does unity. And God wants us to come together as one under his name. So honestly, this week, I just want us to be more mindful about what we do and how we go about doing it. Um, it's not a time to go around looking at everybody saying, oh, you're operating out selfish ambition. Yes, we know it is wreaking havoc on this earth. There are a lot of things going crazy on this earth. But God really wants us to watch ourselves because it is very easy to fall into selfish ambition, especially now when people are getting so much attention because they feel this drive of like, I have to keep my followers going. I have to keep the attention. I have to keep putting out videos in order for you know people to keep watching me. And the reality is God is most likely, most of the time saying, you don't have to do all that. He's like, hey, I'm the one who got you here. I will keep you going, but you have to seek me. So we have to operate out of obedience and we have to remain humble. We can't get caught up in how so many people say they like what we're doing. Um, we can't get caught up in all the compliments. The reality is if God tells me even now to stop posting videos, I'm going to do it. Why? Because I'm obedient to him and I'm submitted to him. A lot of times people are talking, 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 and God has not said talk. So the reality is, you know, you can put that in the name of God, but God, he's like, I'm not required to back that because I did not say that. So yes, um, I'm going to go ahead and pray to cover everyone who's hearing this. Um, because the reality is humility is just such a major thing that we need to embody because humility is what silences us and helps us to truly hear God. Because at that point, we're not trying to control everything, okay? So Father God, I just thank you for this word that you've downloaded. I thank you for giving clarity. I thank you for giving correction, Lord God. And Father God, I pray that every person who hears this, Lord, that they receive revelation in regards to the areas of their own lives where there may be selfish ambition, Lord God. And Father God, we just ask for your forgiveness for every single time that we have done something or said something in your name, but you had not asked us to do it. Heavenly Father, help us to be obedient, help us to be humble, and help us to not be moved by the words of people, Lord God. Help us to be free of people, Lord God. Help us to be free of this society, um, free of the, the laws created of man and the enemy, Lord God. Help us to always seek you first, Heavenly Father, and to always keep you first. Lord God, we know your heart is to serve people. And as your servants, Lord, as your servant, as your children, Lord God, help us to know exactly what you would have us to do to serve other people in everything that we do. Even if it's as simple as, oh, I'm working remotely. Okay, well, how can you serve somebody virtually? Lord God, help us to be obedient to your will, to your way, and to truly hear your voice, Lord. Lord God, I, I ask for forgiveness for the church, for the body of Christ, Heavenly Father, for all individuals who have done things in your name and said that it was something for you. Father God, even with churches having the opportunity to be open, Lord, if you did not tell that church to open, Father God, I pray that that pastor would shut the, the doors of the church again. Because Father God, as much as we love to hear your word, if it's not done in the right heart, and if it's not done in obedience to you, then it is in vain. 
So Father God, help us to always be obedient to your word and your will, Heavenly Father. Help us to not think of ourselves so highly, Heavenly Father. Help us to think of you and to remember that you sacrificed your son on our behalf. So Lord God, I just give you all the honor and the glory because I know that you showed this to me because you want me to recognize that there are things that I do not need to do unless you tell me to do it. And Father God, I just pray that I am obedient and that I continue to listen and, and seek your word, Lord God, in regards to what you would have me to do. And in the same way, Lord, every single person who hears this prayer, Lord God, just free them, Heavenly Father. I pray that you free their mind. I pray that you give them clarity, open their heart, open their eyes, and Lord, help them to say what you would have them to say. Father God, I pray against all feelings of um, comparison, all feelings of feeling less than. Father God, help us to not get distracted by what we see. Because in reality, Lord, we know the enemy knows how to make things look glamorous. But if it's not of you, Heavenly Father, then it is definitely not worth getting involved in. So Heavenly Father, we praise you, we honor you. I pray this week, Lord, that every single person on this video, Lord, has a an amazing week, Lord God. Create opportunities for them to serve you, even if it's in something as small as loving their family. If they're married, loving their spouse. If they're a parent, take loving their child. I mean, if they're single, Lord, loving their friends. Heavenly Father, just create opportunities for us to serve and to operate in humility and to not think so highly of the things that you uh, that we think you want us to do. Lord God, we give you all the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. So once again, thank you for watching the video. Um, I am praying for you all. Um, thank you for subscribing. For anyone you want to share this video with, go ahead and share it. I mean, it may be relevant to them. I can't say um, who needs it, but even doing this video, I'm operating out of obedience. Because if you know me, I'm not big on videos. And um, I'm not trying to get a huge following because I ultimately, I just love to talk about Jesus. I love to talk about his word and I love to see people set free. So if hearing this word sets you free, please take a moment after watching this and just really internalize it. Get your journal, say another prayer and just talk to God. Ask him to reveal to you those areas in your life where there may be a bit of selfish ambition. Like regardless of how long we're saved, none of us are exempt. None of us are exempt from operating out of bad qualities. But thankfully, God's grace and his mercy, out of love, he gives us opportunities to come into the knowledge of where we're wrong and when we're wrong. We're wrong and he gives us opportunities to repent and he gives us opportunities to help someone else come out of it. So once again, operate in humility. Um, don't become a victim of selfish ambition and continue to pray for um, this world and for especially the body of Christ because right now God is really wanting to do some amazing things. I'm, it, regardless of what the world is saying with COVID, quarantine, I am convinced that God is preparing his children to come out so much stronger than we went in. So please, 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 please do the hard work um, and don't be offended because the reality is God chastises those he loves. All right, so have a wonderful week. And like I said, share, subscribe, like, um, spread the word, uh, whatever the Holy Spirit leads you to do. All right, have a great week. God bless you.